Hello everyone, Power Query Basic. Today we will talk about extract. Extract certain test value from a column. We can find the extract under the transform tab here. Extract, we have seven different options. We can also find the same, that's exactly the same seven options here under the tab at column. So maybe the question now is, what are the differences? Actually, it is quite straightforward. Let me start by a very simple example. If I go to the transform tab, I select the column I want to extract certain things. Uh, the first option we have is the length of the test. It will give you the number of character. So let me do it length. Wow. The result will be displayed exactly on the same column. What if, let me delete this step. What if I repeat the same, but this time I'm going to the add column, extract length. Wow, you see that the result is displayed on an additional column. Basically, we add the result to a column. That is what add column means. Very straightforward. Today, I will show you the different options of extract under add column so that we can see the result before and after. We will see the original column and we will see what we have extracted from that column. Indeed, for the first four functions, we have a similar functions in Excel that can be done very easily. But for the last three, a normal Excel function will not be sufficient to complete the task or it will be too complicated unless you are super, super advanced in, in the Excel formula. Let me show you and you will appreciate more about what we can achieve in Power Query. The first one is length, what we have already done. Basically, the corresponding function in Excel worksheet is length. Very simple. Now, let me remove the step here. And then let's try the second option, first characters. So we can actually specify how many characters we want to extract from. For example, two. That means we want to extract the first two letters from the column. And the corresponding function in Excel will be left. Let me show you the other options, last characters. More or less the same. If I select four here, I will get the last four characters. Very straightforward. The function for that in Excel is right. Let's go to the next one, range. We need to input the starting index. Remember, Power Query is a zero-based program. So zero means the first position. If I want to get the test from the third character, I need to input two as the starting index. And then I need to tell Power Query how many characters I want to extract, say three. So that means starting from the third position, it will get three characters. Let's see the result. There we go. And the corresponding function X in Excel is meet. Okay, the next one, test before delimiter. It could be very useful. We can specify, it, for example, underscores as the delimiter we want to extract. In our example, we have multiple underscores here. So by default, it will search for the first one from the beginning. Let's have a look. This is the result. So what if we want to skip the first one and we extract the test from the second delimiter we specified? Easy. Double click the gear here to modify the step. When this dialog box opened, Go to the advanced options, keep the first option from the start of the input. This is the scan direction. 
If you want the scan direction from the end, we can choose it. But let's keep it the way it is. We just want to skip the first delimiter and start from the second. OK, there we go. So we have extracted the test before the second delimiter underscores. And one thing I want to highlight here, or just a reminder, is normally when we talk about delimiter, we will think about the full stop, comma, all those kinds of symbols. But indeed, we can input a string like this. Let's restore this and see what is the result. Oops, nothing. Nothing changed except this one because what I look for is a n. And we have only a n here, so it will extract the test here. And we can see that when Power Query didn't find a match, it will just lift the original content. Let me modify the step here, double click the icon. I would love to input underscores here, but this time I would like to change the search direction from the end of the input. Okay, so that means it will search the last occurrence of the delimiter and extract all the tests before it. Super easy. Can it be done with normal Excel function or formula? Still be, but you need a combination of find, left, or right. Or if you want to skip a particular occurrence, the formulation will become more clumsy and more complicated. Not a regular user can handle. But the Power Query can do it for you with some simple parameter input. Let's go to the next one. Now let me remove the step here. The next one will be test after delimiter. Actually, this is quite similar to what we have done. Let me show you. But this time, let me try another delimiter. Dot. OK. Apparently, it is doing the same, but instead of getting the test before a delimiter, it extracts the test after the delimiter. This is what the name said about. Here comes the last one, test between delimiters. This is super powerful. So say for example, I want to extract all the tests between the delimiter underscores. So I can input underscores as the start delimiter and also underscores as the end delimiter. OK, here we go, super easy. And if we want to get the numeric item here, okay, that is the test between underscores and uh, foot stop. We can modify the step by simply modify the end delimiter. We input dot here. Boom. Oh, it is not the result I expected. I expect I only want to get the numeric portion here. But why is that? Okay, let's have a look uh, of what we have input here. So we have the start delimiter underscores. Ah, because it's searched from the beginning of the test. So this is the starting point and the end delimiter if we stop and this is the last point. So all the tests in between is being extracted. So Power Query is doing exactly what we tell them to do. But we can go to the advanced option because we want the start delimiter actually is coming from the end of the input. So we change the scan direction for the start delimiter. It will be scanned from the end. That means we will extract the test between the last underscores and the first period. Let's have a look. There we go. Indeed, there is an alternative approach to achieve the same by modifying the last options in the advanced options. Let's have a look. 
So this time, we will put the start delimiter as dot. This is the start delimiter. That means we will start from here, okay? And the end delimiter will be underscores. For the start delimiter, because we have only one period or one dot here in our content, so it doesn't really matter if we start from the start or from the end. But let's put from the end here, number of start delimiter to skip zeroed. Here is the tricky part. Okay, this is the scan for the end delimiter options. We have two options here. The first one is from the start delimiter. That means the period here we identified. And then toward the end of the input, that means the search direction is from this starting point, search in this direction. The next option is from the start delimiter, but toward the start of the input. Toward the start of the input mean in this direction. So that means we will search for the first delimiter period here, and then we will look backward, and then look for the underscores here, and then extract all the tests in between. Let's have a look. We will have the same result exactly. Simply awesome. I hope you enjoyed this video and also appreciate the power of Power Query. See you next time. Mm -hmm.